Maaser Sheni, Perak Gimel, Mishnah Yud, 10th Mishnah in the 3rd chapter of Maaser Sheni. Okay, in the previous Mishnah, we learned that Maaser Sheni, that was Nichnas Mishalayim, is Nitma, if Maaser Sheni became Tameh, then we said Yipadeh. The Mishnah said that you could redeem it, you could transfer the value of the Maaser Sheni to money, and then the question was, in the Mishnah, could you eat it, in your, yeah, did you have to eat it in Yerushalayim, or do you, could you take it out of Yerushalayim? Our mission is going to talk about something different. Halakuach bekesef ma'aser sheni shinitma. I had ma'aser sheni in Yad Vinyamin, outside of Yerushalayim. I transferred the value onto money. I brought that money into Yerushalayim and brought with it Jaffa oranges. Okay? And then that shinitma, so the mission says that also Yipadeh, the Tanakhama says, I can also redeem that ma'aser sheni. Rabbi Yudah, Rabbi Yudah, Yudah says Yikaver. No, that ma'aser sheni that I already, that I bought with money that was podeh, with money that was nifteh, that I have to yikaver, I have to throw it away. Okay, that's what Bartimura says. Perot shenikdu b'demei ma'aser sheni yikaver, says Rabbi Yudah. Ho'il v'nigmera mitzvato. You finished the mitzvah. V'kana perot b'mo'od ma'aser sheni. I already bought perot, fruit, with ma'aser sheni, with money. Shuv lo yipadeh. I can't redeem it anymore. Once I'm podeh, once, it's done. So Amr lo le Rabbi Yudah. So they said to Rabbi Yudah, you said you have to bury it, you can't redeem it. Uma ima aser sheni atzmo sheni tma hareu nifteh rega. One second. Maaser sheni itself, when it became tame, we said, hareu nifteh. If you took, brought oranges from Yad Binyamin to Yerushalayim, and they became tame, we learned in the last mission, you can redeem them. Halakoach, the kesef maaser sheni tma. So that's not the fruit themselves. It's not the actual produce. I took the, it's something that's bought with the money of maaser sheni that became tame. Eino din shi yipadeh. It certainly should be more uh, more lenient because it's not the actual produce. So certainly you should be able to redeem it. He said, no, no, no. We said you could redeem it. Why? It itself, if it's Tahor, and I'm in Yad Vinyamin, I'm not in Yerushalayim, it itself could be Nifdeh. So therefore it has a leniency to it. It can be redeemed. Tomru, would you say the same thing? Once I bought Maaser, I, I bought something with Kesef Maaser. We learned in a previous Mishnah. We learned in Berak Aleph Mishnah Hey, I think. Berak Aleph, yes. Mishnah Hey. We learned that if you buy, if you intentionally buy Perot with money of Maaser Shini outside of Yerushalayim. Now let's go back and find it. Perak Aleph Mishnah Hey. Aleph Hey. Okay. Halokech perot, if you buy perot, i.e., outside of Yerushalayim, mezid, if I did it on purpose, ya'alu v'ya'achlu b'makom, I can redeem them again, I have to bring them to Yerushalayim and eat them there. Let's go back to our Mishnah. So therefore, back to our Mishnah, let me find it, okay. So he said, tomu b'lakuach b'kesef ma'aser, well you say, when I bought something b'kesef ma'aser, she'eno nifteh b'tahor b'bichuk makom, if I buy it and it's tahor, I can't redeem it. So therefore we see, that, that produce that's bought with money of Maaser Shani has a chumrah to it. So similarly, just like a machmir, that if I bought it outside of Yerushalayim, I can't redeem it. Similarly, I hold that if it's nitma, if it becomes tame, it cannot be nifteh, it cannot be redeemed. But the Kahati says, we don't pass in like Rabbi, uh, like Rabbi Yehuda. We'll stop here. If you have any comments or questions, as always, email me at rasmoter at gmail.com. And we'll dedicate this learning to the memory of my father, Rav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Have a good day.